Aries! Keep it there, please. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We're here to have some fun. The party has just begun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you so much for coming through. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me the only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my youtube page or the description on this video it gives you various links to reach out to me to book or to support the channel if you want to book with me send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger just email me at scorpionbreads at gmail.com all right all right y'all already know how we do so again thank you for um coming in and um clicking this video with me you know we always give praise thanks and recognition to father god the universe the creator whatever it is that you want to call him or however it is that you connect with him so if you wouldn't mind let's just say a quick prayer before we get into the energy of this month so if you wouldn't mind bowing your head father god thank you so much for reaching us and just teaching us and uplifting us father god and just keeping us you know being steadfast in the spirit father god we ask you to just you know continue to come forth in our life to give us the guidance and the energy and the daily bread that we need father god to continue to claim success over our life in the name of jesus if there's any guidance that we need to receive for the month of august or anything we need to do to be in preparation and just you know just continuing on our march and our path in greatness father god please give us the guidance that we need we thank you for your warmth and love and your protection over our life father god and we thank you for just being fruitful bearers of all of the blessings that you have in store for us in the name of Jesus. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive today. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you so much. All right. Hello. All right, so let's get into this. Now, you guys, I am using some of my older decks mixed up with some new decks because we have two new decks that I haven't used yet mixed up with some older decks that I really don't use that often. So... Let's get into this. This is the Oracle of Visions deck. And I typically just go off of this one intuitively. I might go to the book to see what it says. But let's just rock and see what it do. Let's just rock and see what it do, you guys. So let's see what we got for Aries. Alright. Thank you so much. Give me one card for Aries. For August. Card for Aries for August. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is this is my someone trying to keep up with the Joneses, like some type of fake impression. Uh it's like some fake impression. There's somebody around you guys right now, Aries, that y'all feel like is putting on or they're doing too much just to fit in or they just have such a fake exterior whatever it is going on with them it's like you don't believe them you don't believe whoever this is you feel like they can have like a fake body fake body parts as you see this lady has like a fake nose or she just has things around her for the look of it it's not real. You know what I'm saying? It's to give you this glamorized perception of what she believes that she wants people to think her life is. Because she likes bandwagon people. If I dress like this, then people will think this of me. And if I carry myself like this, it'll give me more respect or it'll give me the notion I could look down on people if I have this and if I drive this and if I do that and if I say I work here and if I keep this clothes on it's just like this false perception of something and I don't think like I don't know any Aries that carries their self like this there's someone that you guys can feel like is very stuck up it's a false parent it's a false appearance is a false perception it's not who the person really is and mm, it's like someone like fake shit fake people that's not that's not no aries that i know the aries that i know 
they're not fake at all. Like, I could see the Aries being the one to tell this person just, like, how fraudulent that they think. It's like, you think that impressed me? It doesn't. Like, girl, everything about you is fake, fraudulent, flaw. Like, girl, the real you is flawed like shit. Because if it, if it was real, if it was good, if it was all what you say it is, girl, what you need? All of this fake nose. Why you got all of them hair extensions? Girl, you flawed. Like, I can see, like, Aries just, like, getting someone together. This is the Three of Cups. So this is someone that you know in some type of social environment, some type of social setting. It could be a friend of a friend, a colleague's wife, someone that you work with or again have to see i want to say frequently this is someone that you see frequently someone that anytime there's a party there's a celebration like you have to deal with this person i feel like this person is in the middle of something then you have the five of cups here and then you have the ace of cups so this has to do with okay it's okay. So I I just heard someone is learning how to love their self again. Someone is learning how to love their self again or may have fell in love again. I always take this as general energy, so I don't necessarily want to look at this in love. But I want to say that this could be a situation where it's someone that feels like that they lost a friend or family member a roommate, someone fell in love. I feel like someone fell in love with someone that they don't like. And it's like you have to deal with this person at family cookouts and events and, and celebrations and stuff. It's like they always bring this person <laughs> that they're in love with now. It's like I, I always have to see this person. And it makes me say It's like in some way it makes you sad because this person doesn't necessarily fit in with the family or whatever they whenever they come around they're being fake they're putting on just to and it's like you can see through that you can feel like you've lost someone that you lost a friend like now i gotta deal with this person this per like is it just me that sees this that this person is flawed that this person is fake that this is all of this is fake like Oh my goodness. And y'all just still going to party with her? Like, all y'all love her? It's just me that don't like this bitch? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, that is honest, like the honest truth of what I'm getting. And it's someone in the middle. And someone feels at a loss. Because, again, it's like, you, you see how the, the three cups are thrown down it's like you don't even want to party with them anymore it's like they're all off over here having fun and i just don't feel like i fit in because they're hanging with this like everyone's in love with this girl now no one can see through all of this fake shit I don't like it. I don't want a part of it. I don't consider this person my friend. I don't consider this person my family. I guess it's like someone feels like they're to the stand out. They feel left out because it's like you just don't. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone just decided to invite themselves to the part of the crew. <laughs> and it's like, um, mm mm. Okay, y'all just said no one is really looking into this person's true reputation behind this mask. And I feel like other people, because this is new, this is someone new. So everyone could just be like partying and just enjoying it and having a good time and not ne necessarily looking at the real person behind the mask. Because, you know, the Ace of Cups, that's the that's new. It's just, you know, everyone's just enjoying herself. It's a good time, you know. I'll let her in. Stop, stop being an asshole. You don't like anybody. It's like you're always finding something to be upset about. And you're like, no, I'm trying to tell you, like, it's something about this person. And y'all just let anybody in. Y'all just... Y'all, as long as it's someone that y'all can drink with and enjoy and party with, y'all don't care. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it's like no one's really looking into the true person. You got a message of concern. A 
and I slightly want to see what this card is right here. Main female. So there's a message of concern about this main female. Like I said, it's something about what truly goes on beneath all of this hair, this makeup, this false attitude. Like y'all, it's like y'all don't see this, but like I've ever heard some information about this person. There's like little details that y'all are not paying attention to about this main person. Again, this person feels like they're at a loss. They've been left out. I want to say like it's like ever a friend, a family member, or something. If you want to look at this in a love relationship type of thing. I don't look at it like that because the Three of Cups represents friends and family to me. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't necessarily mean uh, a lover. Or it could... It, I, I, again, I feel like it means like someone's being left out of a... Well, it's not that they've been left out. They don't want, they're choosing not to deal with these individuals because they don't like to deal with fake shit. And they heard something about this individual. As you can clearly see, this person is a, a well-dressed burrito. Like, <laughs> Do you understand? This person, a well-dressed well burrito is actually a store in D.C. Shout out to well-dressed burrito. <laughs> <laughs> they chimichangas be the shit. I love them. <laughs> but listen, baby girl is a well-dressed burrito. Like, she is not... <laughs> people need to look... People need to look beneath all of that. Them, them name brands and the makeup and the money and the hair. And, you know, mm-mm. Give me more information about this. Main, female, this message of concern... This offer of love, this new thing. Everyone's accepting this person. You're not Aries. You got the King of Pentacles here. They just said your brother. And then you got the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So. Okay, so the, because the king of pentacles, all right, you guys are fire signs. The king of pentacles can either be how you look at yourself. This could be, again, I feel like this is a family member or a friend or a close colleague. The king of pentacles could be like your boss or someone that you make money with. Um... Someone that's very resourceful to you, or it could even be your a, a father. It could be your kid's father. It could, I mean, typically the King of Pentacles is someone that is the a, a, a married man. So this is a married man. The Seven of Wands in the reverse is like when someone is being like, I want to say caught off guard is or doesn't know how to defend themselves. It's like, they, like this person doesn't necessarily like arguments or like to um, get in battles with people. Like this person will continue to aid and, and take care of the person and do the right thing. Like regardless of what, the King of Pentacles is someone that is a very dependable, dependable individual. So it could be... Again, and then you got to look at this individuals. This could be someone that's like living off, high off the horse off of this man's finances, their money. I mean, look at her. I mean, she got it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this woman could be doing things or, or, or putting on this fake energy like you love this King of Pentacles when it's really all about their money. It's really all about the finances and the glitz and the glamour and the look of things. And it, it just looks better to be next to the King of Pentacles. I don't really love them. You know what I'm saying? But the Seven of Wands could be like slander behind someone's back and also like it's like things you just being caught off guard with information that you don't even know how to recover from. You don't even know how to defend yourself. It's like someone to just like allow someone to just beat up on them and don't weaponize the information that is giving them. It's like you just sit there and like 
All right, now I done told you. Okay, no, I I've said it absolutely right. I said it absolutely right. It's like if someone comes to you in love, like listen, I love the shit out of you, bruh. I heard some shit. I know you really not gonna like what I gotta tell you, but I'm telling you this shit in love. You know that I'm coming to you with peace. I heard something about your girl, man. I heard something about your girl, like, yeah, she looks this way now, like, because that's a lot of surgery and a lot of things that she didn't look like that at first. You know what I'm saying? She was like this, like, the bitch was a scammer, like, she didn't did this to this and this and that, like, she didn't change her appearance, she didn't clean herself up, dressed herself up with some name brands and things like that, but... She's not, she, like, she's undercover. Like, she's a, like, it's something. It's something. And it's like, we didn't let her into the family. And, it, and it's, like, I don't want you to regret this in the, in the long run. I don't want you to regret this in the long run. It's, someone is in a place of worry. A place of worry because. It's like, I don't know how you're going to defend yourself. Because it's like, you never do. Someone never defends themselves. It's like, they never stand up for themselves. And it's some type of... I don't know why. It's like, you... Someone meets people in the wrong atmosphere. It's like, you meet people partying. Or you like people that drink. And, and that party. Or this is a party. This You know what I'm saying? This girl is a social type of individual you know what I'm saying like you it's like either like you should so, someone could be worried about the type of places that someone meets people and they fall in love and they think that it's going to bring them good kind people and it doesn't it brings you fake <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you don't meet someone in a bar or you don't go and mm mm it's like the atmosphere that someone looks for love is not good. It's like a toxic atmosphere or something. Or an atmosphere where it brings someone some level of worry or feeling lost. And it's like they're hearing information about this person. So anyway, let's continue to keep it moving. Give me guidance. Okay. We got this seven of... We got the Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds is a good card. Now, I typically don't use this deck that often, even though I, you know, this is from a fellow reader on YouTube. Um, her depiction of Carter Manti is not my learning of it. So, I will sometimes refer to her um, definition of what these cards mean, but I still have to go off of my knowledge. The seven of pentacles, I mean, not the seven of pentacles, but the seven of diamonds is like a big money, like card. It's like someone hitting the lotto or getting like a big lump sum of money. It means like riches, success, um, like a, a check or something of that nature. So, what does this say? It means prosperity card, pursuit of happiness, follow your dreams, a leap of faith, take of taking of chances, validation, praise, great news, important conversation, discovering the meaning of life, a boast of energy, motivation, drive, new plans, high confidence, positive affirmations. Okay, so this is a good, yeah. Okay, so this is on point. Definitely on point. So again, this could be. Like I said, someone can be around someone for their money, for their lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It could be because of your lifestyle. Like you may be in a very uh, lucrative group where people make money and they party hard. They celebrate all of the time. It's like someone meets people in a social setting and they think that they can fall in love. And again, you got the King of Pentacles. So it's like this is someone that they see a come up off of. And again, it, it don't, don't even necessarily mean that I even love the person. I just want to be a part of this group. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I could fake 
liking someone just to get into the setting type of thing you got the three of spades so the three of spades is not a good card that's still like the three of swords card but i want to say even worse because the three of spades warns against like disease and just like toxic thinking worrying to the point of obsession and like uh fighting like you know like physical fighting and like stabbing people in the back saying like this is not a good card so there is a third party energy here and like i said that there could be like a family member there's somebody that's obsessing that's worrying about this person's new romance the person that they are allowing into their life it's like i don't it's like i've seen this person do this before and again it's something about this person never stands up it's like they're always a victim of their choices and it's like i always have to uh worry about this person someone has a concern about this main this new person of affection i'm worrying about who my brother who my cousin, who my sis, somebody is involved with. Um, this means instability, third party situation, a love triangle, love, uh, or stress, I mean, I'm sorry, stress in the workplace or in the home life, unsolicited advice, <laughs> meddling, gossip, unwanted attention, issues, problem, misery, uh, mysteries unfold, uncovering lies, trauma, emotional tr pain, Betrayal, cheating, separation, a health scare. I told you, stop avoiding the obvious. Detach to gain a different perspective. Take leadership over your life. Because this, this means... When I see this car, I think of gluttony. I think of a pig. You know what I'm saying? Like something that would eat anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm, I don't think of good things. Let me tell you exactly like from my understanding what this means. Because I, I just, I want y'all to get tea. Because, uh-uh, this is not, this is not what you want. It's not what you want. Let me see. Spades. Three of spades. Traditionally a card of loss, deception, lies, misunderstanding, confusion, a growing problem, a worsening condition, deterioration, disease, infection, a third party uh, interference, a third wheel, meddling, a love triangle, what goes on behind the scenes, trials and tribulation, a test, an exam. So, y'all. And again, like I said, I, I don't want to make it seem like... And I do feel like the Aries is the meddling family member or friend. It's because clearly I'm worried about this bitch. Like, I don't trust this whore. <laughs> okay? Shout out to um Candy from Sweet Addiction TV. <laughs> it's whore. Okay, come on, Candy. And then you got the King of Spades. The King of Spades is not no joke. The King of Spades is like the judge, the juror, and the motherfucking executioner. The King of Spades ain't no joke. They been around the track. They've been on the good side and the bad side of the law. You know, they was a rebel at one point and they decided to fix themselves up and to help people not get in trouble the way they used to. So, yeah, this person could be like a Judge Mathers, a Judge Joe Brown, if you will, or something like that. Like they from the streets, but at the same time, they've decided to do things the right way. So it's like I'm not. But the king of fucking spades don't give a fuck about your feelings. They're going to tell you what the fuck it is, cut, blank, and very dry. Can have like a very dry sense of humor or like they're like things that they may laugh about may bring you some level of discomfort. Like seeing people get justice or getting like karma is funny to them because it's like that's what the fuck your ass get. Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like. The king of spades is not going to spare your feelings, but they damn sure ain't going to tell you no lie. And like I said, they're the judge, the juror, and the executioner. So, it's, it's, it's to the point where this person is like, 
I'm trying to let you know this because I love you and I don't want to see you get caught off guard. It's like because you always come to me to help you fix situations. That's you know what I'm saying? And I want to say it's the Aries is taking the standpoint of listen. I'm going to tell you once. I'm not going to tell you again. You're going to get caught out there looking stupid in this situation. You don't see this. You don't see it for what it is. The girl is around you for your money. The girl is around you for your resources. The girl is around you just to hang around because you party. You, you, it's about your lifestyle. It ain't about you. It's about what you provide. It's about the look. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you don't get it. So at the end of the day, um, I'm about to give my verdict on a situation and it's about to be done. And I mean, you gonna do you gonna do what you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You got money, you listen, you you got enough to lose. <laughs> okay? I reload it. So at the end of the day, you grown enough to make your own decisions. You the, you the king of pentacles. You the king of making money. You the king of, of making things grow. And I'm, I'm the king. I'm the king of intelligence. I'm the king of wisdom. And I'm the king about not giving a fuck and cutting a nigga off if they need to get the fuck on. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? It ain't about the way it look. Okay? It's about what need to be done by the book, bitch. So at the end of the day, this bitch is fraud. I'm telling you, this hoe is fraud. You can continue to be in love with this stupid ass hoe. Make seeds, plant, and grow with this dumb ass bitch if you want to. When, listen. When the shit blow up in your face, don't come back here and, 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 and run back to me and, and, and try to help. Ask me to help you pick up the pieces when you going through your saw because I don't want to hear about the shit. And, and that's just how it... Bitty, bitty. That's... That's all, folks. And that's how, the, that's how it ends. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the Aries is getting to a point where... Because it's like now I'm looking like the bad guy. Like, I feel like I'm the bad guy because I'm keeping it real with you about what I see. And I'm not even about to do that. With, I'm not even about to do that. So, let's get into love with Aries. Let's see what's going on in Aries' life in love. Because it's... Cause, I definitely feel like this is on the outside looking in. It's like I don't even want to. Because you see it's like Aries you, is normally always there. I feel like Aries is not there no more. You see how those. It's like I don't want to party with them bitches. It, it's like Ellie Aries has something at home already. It's like Aries ever already has a soulmate or something. It's like they're instead of going out and partying and hanging with their friends and shit. It's like I don't feel comfortable there no more you know what i'm saying like it's like trash you see how like they threw the cups all on the floor and shit it's like damn that's how y'all rolling now like really it's like I, I got shit straight up i got things blessed at my house like i don't it's like you don't even want to it's not the same atmosphere do you understand it's like dirty it's like you you go back to the spot like everybody was partying having a good ass time and shit like that i feel and i want to say like did, do they not be inviting you anymore? And it's like you be pulling up to the spot, realizing that the party is already done and shit. And it's just like, man, I know this fake ass bitch has something to do with it, with me not being invited. Or, you know, like, it's either you don't, you pull up to the spot, like you didn't, like you could have been at home with your soulmate doing you on some happy vibe and shit, right? And then you pull up later and you just see that the whole environment is just trash. Clearly they was partying and doing it. But like this how y'all leave shit. Like y'all don't even carry yourself. It's, it's weird. It's just something weird about it. It's like having a party was already done. and You wasn't included. And like they've been carrying themselves like trash anyway. So I'm not even tripping. But it's just it's just not even a vibe no more. It's not. Mm -mm. All right, give me guidance and love. What's going on in Aries' love life? Let's see what's going on in Aries' love life for August. Give me two cards, please. Okay. This is a lot of cards. Okay. We got creativity. So you building something with somebody. 
y'all trying some new stuff okay y'all like okay i'm trying some new shit i'm on to some new shit and what is this this is forgiveness and then you got yin and yang okay i'm gonna go ahead and take those cards so going on in love right now we got creativity forgiveness and we got yin and yang so we got some growth we got some maturity it seems like this is something where um, y'all been here before. This seems to be an already established situation. Um, even if it's not an established situation. I would say even if this is for the singles, the information for the singles. Um, you guys are trying something new. You're being very vocal about how you want to express yourself in love. And the type of expressions that you want coming back to you. Um, I feel like you guys are being more outdoorsy this time. More colorful. Not kind of like the black, the blues, and the... You know, like, no. You guys are being more outspoken. Not hiding your feelings, not hiding your emotions. If there's anything that you've gone through in the past... I feel like you've gone through uh, the separation moment and you forgive this person and they forgive you. I feel like the heels, uh, um, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that, but it's like, no, your heels are going. I feel movement. It's like your there's foot movement, like there's movement. You're healing whatever it was that you were healing from any type of scars or anything. You put cocoa butter on it like you can't even see it scar. If anything is so faint that you would really have to even know it was there to know it was there. The yin and yang is the balance. So you guys have understood. You understood whatever the purpose was, whatever you went through in the past. You having to separate yourself from certain energies, accepting certain failures. It's all for growth. It's all for growth. It's all for balance. What goes up must come down. You have those down periods to learn how to create, how to develop yourself, how to understand the purpose of your life, your lifestyle, what it was meant to bring you during that season to get to the next chapter. So right now you guys are in the next chapter. You are creating the next chapter. You are forgiving yourself for whatever it was that happened in the past. And you were looking to move forward. Forward. Completely balanced. Everything is, is in unison. The attraction card isn't there. But I feel like your attraction. Your attraction level. The things you're attracting right now. Is positive. I think you are maturing in very graceful ways. And even in your day-to-day -day life, it's like you're not even wanting to... Like, I feel like normally, even if you didn't like the people, you would still go hang out if there was a party. It's like, no, I don't, I don't want to just do anything anymore. It's like I want to create a positive harmony around everyone. I don't want to be around no fake ass people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might love that shit. Why? Because they got some beer, some liquor, what, what? Nah, man. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to see people in my life doing the right things and creating harmony in their life. Not a whole bunch of bullshit. So I, 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 I decline that. I decline that. With the forgiveness, I like how the forgiveness is there because it's like I understand what this person is going through. And this person has to go through this phase of their life by their self because they have to learn this without me. And I forgive them and I move on and I'm going to continue to create positivity in my life. I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. I don't think that you're worried about nobody but yourself and keeping yourself in the right place. So you forgive people enough for them to move on. And for them to allow them to see you move on. Positively. Give me guidance here. And I'm glad to see that. Because a lot of people be stuck in some bullshit. Because they too busy worried about who somebody else hanging out with. Or what happened and this, this and that. Nah man, I'm good. 
Okay, I like how you just flipped on out like that. You got the Six of Swords in the reverse. So you guys could have been coming back after a long vacation. You know, um, after some separation and some time being alone and, and thinking to yourself, like you may be resurfacing. You may be resurfacing. It's, it could have been something that you were running away from. Because the Six of Swords is like someone having some type of mental escape or like a, a physical removal. Like you removed yourself from something for a reason that, you know, no one really knows but you and the person who was assisting you through this because the six of swords is when you're getting some type of assistance to help move on like getting wise counsel some wise information so i want to say like you guys could be coming out of hiding after after having removed yourself it's like i forgive i've recreated myself i feel balanced enough to resurface to show myself i feel good i'm ready to come back home the four of wands. Yeah. So. And again, this is like someone not. It was like some type of canceled plans. It was some type of celebration or a family reunion or something that. This. Okay, they're saying something about you didn't show up. You canceled it. You decided not to go. It's some type of get together. And again, it's like, remember, it's some some like a it's some type of get together over here. And it's something about have you not being invited or you deciding because with the king of spades, it's like let me read this. A man, a dark with dark hair it says persistent forceful climbs the social ladder uncompromising perfectionist compassionate compassionless ruthless intimidating unfeeling detached critical of others um picky sarcastic attractive very smart authoritative takes charge great at his job ambitions above reproach vain possessive You see what I'm saying? So it's like this person is very decisive. They know exactly what they think. They're highly critical of people. They feel like this person is fake. So if I'm not invited, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I forgive you though because I understand the level of control this person has over you because I'm not stupid. You know what I'm saying? And I'm at, I'm at perfect. Whoever this is, it's like, I, I forgive you because it's like I've been in that place where you were before. I know the stupid decisions and shit that you about to make and you about to make them because when I was going through it, couldn't nobody tell me shit. I had to learn by bumping my head and doing stupid shit and losing certain shit. So it's good. You know, I feel like it's good. I don't feel like you about to run away though. With this six of swords, it's like that y'all just said I'm st I'm still coming home even though I'm not invited. So it's like you could have been kept away. You could have kept yourself away because I don't it do I want to say someone wasn't invited to a wedding. It's like you ever didn't come to a wedding. You weren't invited to a wedding. You weren't invited to the cookout. It's something like that. And it's like, I I, I forgive you because I understood why you did it because you know I don't like this bitch. And you know, I don't be partying with no fake ass bitches and shit. I don't see nothing. That they, I don't see what the fuck the celebration was for. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like someone may be coming to terms and feeling like, you know, instead of me allowing this situation to remove myself from this, my setting, it's like my family, this is where I grew up, or this is where I come from, because the Six of Swords is like, 
someone moving away from home, something that they call home. The, the, the four, four of wands is like their family, their home, their, you know what I'm saying? Their comfort zone. So it's like, you could have been in a place where it's like, I'd rather leave because I don't like to be around the fake shit. And like in the middle of your destination, if you like finally like really going away. But I feel like if you would have went away, you would have went away for good. I, I, don't, I don't feel like you would have went that far. It's something about a motherfucker's taking it this far. Ain't no coming back. But for some reason, I feel like because it has something to do with family. Something stopped you, and you and, and, and it's like you didn't allow whatever the fuck this is to push you all the way where it could have gone. Because you know how an Aries is. You know how an Aries is. And especially with this King of Spades energy here. And the King of Spades and the Seven of, of Diamonds and the Three of Spades, that just off the rip is saying that the king of spades can be someone that is operating off of the three of spades energy and they just see a come up. Do you understand? They can, they already have a good judge of character. They know how to manipulate someone or, you know what I'm saying? They know that they can have this and work this situation here and still keep this straight face and look at you and lie and deceive. And, and do you understand? Like the king of spades could be a very dishonorable person. So there's a person that is, and again, I want to say because this king of spades has been there. They've done that. I want to say they're a good person now. Because whoever this person is, is telling this person, like, listen, this is not a good individual. Don't let this person in your home stop inviting this person over here or I'm not coming. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um... It take a thief to recognize a thief. Or take a villain to recognize a villain. So even though this person is straightening their life up. They are appointed a justice of the law. Because they know what it means to break the law. They know a lawbreaker. They know a faker. They know They know it. You're not listening to me. But you're going to listen to Okay, the wedding. I'm trying to tell you this has something to do with um, someone not being invited to a wedding ceremony or something. It was like, I have a, you, it's like someone was not invited to a wedding ceremony. Do you understand? I don't know if you told this person not to get married to this person or you had something to say against the, the nuptials or someone told you to just don't even come. And it's like, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know if you showed up anyway, because the six of swords is like someone leaving but deciding to, go, to turn back. Like they look past life relationship, and then what is this staying optimistic? So I don't really like to read that in the reverse, but I am going to read that in the reverse because I felt like I needed to take that in the reverse. So you got this wedding here. You got this. What is this? Forgiving and learning and past life thing. So, I want to say this person has done this before. This situation reminds you. It's like you've done the same shit. It's, remember I said it's like this person keeps getting their self in like the same predicament. Or it's like you meeting people in the wrong environment and like trying to find like a forever situation out of this. It's like, no. Or it's like someone, it's a situation where you shouldn't be optimistic about this. Like, you guys keep going through the same thing over and over and over again. Like, past life, it's like, you did. 
you've been through this again and like you forgive and you're supposed to learn for it from it and then you go again and then you go again and then you go again there's someone that is not optimistic about this it's just a repetitive cycle where it's like do you understand when people keep going through drama and it's like i don't these poor kids they're not going through there it's like they're not learning it's something about Someone not learning, and then you go and get married on top of the bullshit. So it's like, I, it's like either I don't care about me being invited. It's like I didn't want to come. Um, I didn't want to bring negative energy to the situation because it's something about people celebrating bullshit or something that's not going to last or something that is not. And again, the situation involves a marriage. It involves some type of celebration. It involves fake people. I'm not I'm not about to be no fake people. You y'all love this shit. I don't love this shit. I'm telling you, it's something about and then it's like a third party meddling energy. It can, I I wanna say it's a family member or a friend. I feel like you, you may be that family member, that friend, but it's like I don't like this shit. I don't like these people. I don't like it. It, 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 it can even be like you don't like the other person's family. It's like you you cannot like the other person's family too. It's like I don't like these motherfuckers. It's like I feel like they're out for blood. Like that they're, they're all out for the look at things and out. It's someone all out for the look of it. And I want to say it's like you wanted to leave and just like man, I I don't give a fuck if I ain't invited. But it's like I gotta go back. Because it's like, I can't just leave my, 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 my folks to the fucking vultures like that. Because I want to say this motherfucker's stupid. It's like, <laughs> it's like if I, if I don't. Again, it's like getting caught the fuck up. Getting caught up, man. Getting caught up. Let me tell y'all. I just, because I swear, I know that the seven of one. And I, it's, it's not that I'm doubting my knowledge. But I just, I, I have to tell y'all, the seven of wands in the reverse is, it can be a good thing. It depends on how the reader reads it, but I'm not reading it in, in a positive way in this one. Because like the seven of wands is typically someone standing up for themselves. In the reverse, it means being overwhelmed, overcome, defeat, too much competition no stamina no staying power overselling overestimating admitting defeat giving in battle fatigue mob mentality stepping down quitting setbacks blocks weakness timidity being timid lack of courage indecision doubt lack of self-belief and confidence powerless sacrifice exhaustion stress burnt out worn out as Aggressive, overbearing, forceful, my way, paranoia, resolution, let go, giving up, giving in, scandals, embarrassing, being called out, fall from power, fall from grace, fall from respect, delegation, unpopular, criticism, troublesome, gossip, slander, ruin, foul play, losing, strength in numbers, resolution, compromise, Sharing territory, space, handovers. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So It's like someone is screaming. Like, don't, you don't understand who you're getting involved with. It's like someone sees this person for who is like, you're marrying the devil. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, Ay, Dios mijo. Alright, I gotta go. Y'all, uh, hit me up personally if y'all need some <laughs> fucking information. Just resonated. Y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. I'm gone. Peace.